Previously on WW2K23 My Rise, I was completely and indubiously robbed, schmazzed, and bamboozled in a damn cutscene, and I don't have my title anymore. Whatever, T -t -t play the damn episode. This story has taken quite the turn. I just quit evolution. I don't have my title anymore. I am upset. Sean says, we need to talk. This wasn't the plan. You think? It's over. I tried to do what you wanted and it didn't work. We'll talk soon for sure, dot, dot, dot. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck or all part of the plan? I'm so sick of you. And it's obviously all part of the plan. This is what I wanted from all the All part jump. of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel's spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight. Bam. Which is why I got rid of them. Got rid of them. I realized Dropped I didn't them. need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. Didn't need I'm it. bigger than that. Bigger. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Let them know. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. Ooh. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. Let them know. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Pipe bomb time. Oh, give me a mic. It's over. Oh, yeah. Promo time. Prepare for a, for a master class, people. Go ahead, Chris. Spit it. Say what's on your mind. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, start off okay. I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all Allegedly. heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future mm -hmm. world champion. Mm -hmm. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt it forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, okay. I was set up to fail by WWE management. Yeah, let them know. And especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Ooh, let call them out. Let me shoot with you. Sean was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, let him know. HBK, Ooh. I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Ooh. Oh, oh, Sean. Oh, you don't even hear his music? Oh, snap. Oh, look at this. I heard everything you said and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Bam. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules. Or what? But I'm not Sean? going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. Super cute. That's what got me here in the first place. That was a brigade. My voice, my instinct, Do it now. my talent. He's you right. and your corporate yes men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Spitting. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. AKA, the truth. Oh, here we go. This should be... All Great you've done you. is complain since day one. Wrong. Thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. And then talked. you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. Because that sucked more. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? Hard out of gear. Never any of it a fair shot. Thousand dollar safe. But there's no change in your mind. Give or take. Because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? 
Give I'm definitely not shorter than Shawn Michaels. <laughs> example of something you did to help. By the way, come on, name one thing. Ooh, tell him. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? Begging people to put me in you a faction? Said yeah. They wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Kick this man. Kick throwing him. away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. Kick him. So I have one final thing to say to you. What was that? Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. The other person in my way Stop right now, Sean. And blaming everyone else. Is you. And do something for once. Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him! You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Don't want I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. You shove an old man outside of the, of the ring, Chris. Damn, that's messed up. Oh, he's hurt. Was that Hunter? <laughs> hey, hey, look, that's. Hey, man. You're fired. Oh. You can't do that. He don't go here. He goes to NAC. No, 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 no. What? Oh, stop it. Come back. He didn't mean that. I just got fired. <laughs> Breaking. WWE does not condone physical attacks, accidental or not, against its employees. Therefore, Chris has been released from his contract. Immediately, WWE official Shawn Michaels has suffered several injuries, but is expected to make a full recovery. Accidental or not? So if I'm coming off the elevator and I bump, you're going to fire me? This company's in the mud. Hey, I tried. Who's this? I'm here to talk. I don't know. You're a low point. Anyway, call me back. I'm. Is that my dad or trainer or something? I forget. <laughs> Three months later, WWE 2K motion capture shoot. Oh, snap. Let's start with the top row. <laughs> they got me doing mocap <laughs> with Cole Quinn. What? Bring it back. Behold Cole, baby. Go there. And I'm going to go here. Top bro move. Make sure you're recording, baby. Here comes the mocap. No cap. Now. Okay. We're not going to use that take. <laughs> this is the one you got to use. He's got him with the elbow drop. Mocap, a submission attempt. Get here. Oh, got him. Look at that. Lock it in. Oh, he's not going to tap. He's not going to tap. I'm letting go. I guess he heard all the stuff I've been saying about him. My bad. Oh, out of the ring. Oh, is that not what you want to do? I'm sorry. Mocap this. Ah, la, 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 la. Hey, wait, wait. We're not mocapping weapons today. Oh, you try to kill me? Get rid of that. Oh, like magic. <laughs> Get him away from the rope. He's away. That works. One. Oh, you can A workout call? You want an opponent taunt? Bet. Yeah. Oh, that's a crowd taunt. That's crowd taunt. That's crowd taunt. Get off me. All right. Now the crowd taunt. Yeah. Wee, 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 wee. Sit down. Oh, broke you in half. Irish whip him into a corner. Scoo. There he is. And now what? Oh, let's grab some weapon. Oh, we did want weapon footage. Okay. My bad, Cole. That's my fault. Let's get it. Let's say old fashioned, just with a little steel. Magnolia. Oh, right to the gut. Into the face. One more time. Hey, we nope. We got the we got the weapon stuff. We got it. We got it covered, Colt. <laughs> oh, you want a heavy combo now? I got a heavy combo. Bam! Let's get a grab attack. Is this a tutorial? What are we doing here? Give us some strikes and grapples. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? Pow. 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 Show us a dodge. How are you dodging it? Uh. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Wait. Oh, reversal. I got you. Hit me again. There it is. And here it comes. Bam. He's going to eat this. Boom. And now let me guess. Finisher. I love it. Get a good look at this mocap, baby. 
win the match by any result. Bam! Count it, ref. Mocap this. One, two, and three. Behold, Cole. Wait, Daddy. what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> It wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Samuel. Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. Why you got the briefcase? What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. Ah. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. Wow, Sam. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Oh, let him know. Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. <laughs> you're here to film me, not no. speak to the extras. What's happening to my computer? Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. Look pretty good in that mocap suit. All non-essential talent, please Just clear saying. the ring. Mocap ready, positions. Action on your briefcase victory scene. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Now up to the corner, please. There we go. What a process this must be, huh? Oh. Oh! <laughs> you can't be out here assaulting people, Chris! You think you're better than me? You huh? think you're better Answer than me? Answer me! Behold! Cut, cut! That's enough! Where's the Behold, let me go! Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get That's true, off. Chris. We got we got you witnesses seen the and last receipts. Of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye! You can't refire you can't refire Sorry, me. I'm already fired. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? <laughs> Should we wake him up? Sleeping at yeah, the bus station. Yeah, I don't think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. You slept me at the airport. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow Is that it. Michael Caine? Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I need help. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Mind yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. Okay. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now <laughs> is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's mm -hmm. a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I've let things spiral out of control. Yeah. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Cat? 
I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? Works for me. Hello. This coffee ran straight through me. <laughs> Redemption time for the danger. Oh, story complete, and you actually unlock the motion capture studio as a playable arena. Okay. On my flight. I over can't here, tell. I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. <laughs> well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. <laughs> no, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those what matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? As a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, <laughs> I see what you're getting at. But I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Yeah, you can't relate. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. D he turned out okay, didn't he? <laughs> Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. <laughs> what I learned is, way. you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me you're ready to wear a wig. Well, that sound like a strapping all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll give it a shot. Take me to the UK, baby. Okay, fine. I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a die over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. <laughs> I like this guy. A lot to unpack. You got that right. Oh, and you get to unlock a Club UK arena? I like all these little extra just side arenas and shit. That's actually really cool. Let's do it. To Lades England, we go. Oh, I like this little musty ass bar pool hall aesthetic. This rules. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? I sure did. I got it. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but yeah. I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What does that mean? This is actually a British rules tournament. Oh, As dear. In, you'll be competing a in A tournament? Multiple. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. That's what I'm saying, Chris. Spitting. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? You trying to tell me you're going to bury me, brother? <laughs> Oi, suck it up. Oi. You're going to be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What would you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. <laughs> Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Sounds like a promoter to me. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Uh... I want to win the tournament, it's back in my comfort zone. Well, if I'm doing a tournament, I want to win the damn thing. That's just how I'm built. Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. Yeah. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. Oh. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. 
Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. That's a good, that's a great attitude, Chris. I'm proud of you. Oh, check this arena out. That's actually kind of sick. That looks pretty sick. Club UK, welcome the danger, baby. We don't get pyro here. I guess they can't afford it. It's a cool looking little venue, man. With the, 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 the alley, the thing in the back. You know what I'm saying? Who will my first opponent be in this British rules tournament, though? Tyson Kidd, who's this? Barry Jackson. Oh, that's right. They don't have nameplates because they're not on TV. It's just in a club. I see you got a little uh, red, black, and white situation going on there, sir. You need me to tell you why that's a bad idea? Well, here goes nothing. Defeat Adrian Buck. Two out of three falls under British rules. We can't leave. Okay. You're kicking me already? We can't leave the ring. There's no top rope moves allowed. That's fine with me because I'm going to wreck this man old school, baby. Okay. Hypothetically, what happens if I try to go to top rope? Oh, it won't let me. Oh, I'm trying to... <laughs> Leah, look at me, ref. Hey, look at me, ref. Hey, look at me, ref. <laughs> okay, I'm getting off. Ah, baited Jin. You don't know the rules. I couldn't do anything from up there. Bam, back elbow to the corner. Kick. Another one. Another one. Another one. Bam. Oh, to this corner. Just to come down and hold. Oh, oh, bam. Oh, he kicked me in the nuts, I think. All right, let's get one of these falls out of the way, sir. I had about enough of you. Scrap bow! That's just a setup. Oh, you. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, he's bleeding. Look, man, you brought this upon yourself. Shot! Oh, no. Oh, what's this? Yeah, whatever. Keep up! <laughs> Trash! What you think of a, a spot of danger? How about a spot of danger? Give me this fall. Hurry up and count it. One, two, fall number one. And you know what? Run it back. One. <laughs> it is time for the Philly. Special. Fall number two, baby boy. British rules? Psh, nothing to me. Danger kicks off the tournament with a big victory. But can he make it all the way to the end? You gotta stay tuned. Find out. Hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you next time. Peace.